hello dear student in this video we will learn next chapter chapter number 8 that is about the xml now in xml we will learn how uh, what is the history of an xml uh, what is the meaning of xml how to write xml structure and which are the different uh, techniques that can be used to manipulate xml now first we will go with the history part of the xml uh, first gml what is an sgml and html and after that xml so gml it is a generalized markup language and it is developed in 1969 by charles goldfarb edward mosher and raymond lorry uh, so it is one of the markup language so what is an a markup language markup language means uh, suppose you want to format some text then you will write uh, the formatting of text with the help of some coding and generic coding and you know, with the help of that coding whatever the presentation you want as an output of that particular text that will be displayed as it is for example on a web page i want a particular text in a bold in italic uh, some content should be displayed in a tabular form in the table some should be displayed in an ordered list just like a numbering 1 2 3 4 uh, so that formatting will be described with the help of some tag based Uh, some markup language and just we have to enter the text within this some tag some formulas and with the help of that uh, your web page will be look whatever the user requirement is that is a basic idea behind the generic coding so the generic coding having some uh, tag based information and uh, just we have to enter some text within that particular tags so this is a gml this gml has been standardized with the help of the sgml so it is the next successor of gml it is a sgml sgml stands for standard generalized markup language so it is standardized by iso iso you know it is an international organization for standard so uh, it uh, this gml has been standardized by this one iso so it is based on uh, mainly tagging the element tag based fully and second thing uh, it used to represent the meta language now what is a meta language meta language it is a language about or it is containing the information about the languages so these are the two focus has been given for the sgml uh, so sgml it is used to define a markup language with the help of tags and with the help of the meta language now what are the problems uh, has been faced with this sgml is that page fidelity uh, is not preserved and it is having a too much complicated structure now page fidelity suppose you have to format a textbook and uh, there are the different pages every page is having a different formats so even though you specify within the tags with the help of this sgml but it is not giving the accurate pagings and uh, accurate formats specified by where sgml tags so that is one of the problem for the large documents another thing uh, it is too much having the complicated structure for the tables and equations so overall problem is that it is very complex one to design and to used by a normal user or the developer so that's why the next uh, generation or uh, next successor for this sgml is html and side by side xml now this is a uh, hierarchy of the markup languages the first one idea as in gml by ibm then sgml and standardized by iso that's why it is sgml as sgml it is a complicated one so for presentation next version next successor it is an html that already you know html and uh, xml uh, so light version of this sgml it is an xml and these are the childs of this uh, versions of this xml and xhtml combination of html and the xml now what is an html html it is a hypertext markup language html it is developed by team bernals lee and it is a successor of html now it is totally based on the tags so these tags are the fixed tags now what is a fixed tag so these tags are not uh, defined by the user so these are the predefined tags developed by that particular uh, Uh, in html so just you have to use this predefined tag for example suppose i want to make it an italic then i tag will be used now you want to use uh, table rows and column then trtd you are using so these uh, base tags or this predefined tags you can use 
if you want to make it user defined then there is no facility with html so you can make a tables you can make a graphics element draw some elements then uh, mathematical formula symbols you can apply with the help of the html so html it is totally for, works for appearance and the look of your web page it focuses on how exactly your web page looks like so that is an html so tags you know that opening tag uh, this one like and closing tag with a slash forward slash and then tag so opening tag each command consisting of opening tag as well as a closing tag so this is another information of uh, html uh, these are the versions of html html 1 uh, html 2.0 3.2 uh, then 4.0 now the html5 is also there then xhtml and xhtml5 html5 in 2012 and xhtml5 2013 so current version of html if we consider then it is a html5 number version now what is the basic structure of html you can see here so these are the tag html it is your uh, parent tag base tag within that uh, you have to define the different tag so this is the first one it is your html opening tag slash it is a closing tag and in between that you can see its structure of this html body body containing uh, the element or the data that you want to display on your web browser web page uh, h1 for the headings slash h1 closing tag p you know this is for the paragraph slash p for uh, paragraph so next for new paragraph again you have to take a new tag that is a p tag so in this way you can write your html pages with uh, lots of tags are available for that. now what is an xml and why what is the need of the xml now this sgml we have seen that it is uh, also used for uh, meta languages also use uh, using the tag based structure but it is a complicated one so it is very complicated uh, that if suppose we have to read the specifications then uh, 150 pages are there technical pages that we have to read that specifications of the html so html uh, if we think then html it is just for the presentation but when we have to think that we have to store the data in the form of the meta language then uh, we should use another technology another uh, markup language should be there that's why uh, lightweight version of this uh, sgml has been started in 1998 and that is xml 1.0 so to carry out the data from uh, one system to the another as well as from a database to your uh, front end or for the script that you require uh, some lightweight version of html uh, so html it is used only for the presentation of data but when we are focusing on uh, that data information and it should be carried very fastly then we should use this xml so what is an xml xml stands for extensible markup language so it is a text based markup language so it is also one of the markup language like html but the tags are the user defined tags and it is uh, derived from whom derived from standard generalized markup language that is sgml uh, xml tags identifies the data and basically it is used to store and organize the data so it is not like a html that is focusing on totally on the displaying the data what are the characteristics of xml xml uh, is extensible so it allows to describe its own tags we will see some examples of it and xml carries the data uh, does not uh, present it so it is used to carry the data from one platform to the another platform uh, so it is a public standard this is a third characteristic uh, developed by you know, w3 that is world wide web consortium and it is available as an open standard anyone can use it what are the uses of data uh, xml so it is used to exchange the information then offloading and reloading of database offloading means storing into the database and reloading means taking away uh, data from the database again the store and arrange the data uh, then your data can be expressed suppose you want to uh, present data then you can also use xml in a simple format you can present the data with the help of the xml document 
So basically, to store a data, to retrieve a data, to exchange a data uh, between organization, between the platforms, between the systems, you can use uh, XML. So it is very beneficial. Uh, this uh, it gives the difference between XML and HTML. XML designed to describe the data and focus on what data is. And HTML, it is designed to display the data and focus on how data looks. So look wise, uh, if we want to present data very in a nice presentation, we will use HTML. If we want to describe the data, what exactly data and uh, what it does, then uh, we will use this HTML. That is the basic difference between XML and HTML. Uh, this is an example. We will see later uh, how to execute these examples. So just see the example uh, starting as a markup language, question mark, XML version number 1.0. And here you can see these are the tags. Now this product, it is an, a user defined tag. It is not your predefined tag. Products, uh, this is a parent one. And within this product, product ID is equal to PR001, name and price, another child tax. And the product one has been added. For the second one, product ID, PR002, it's information name and price. Third product ID, PR003, and it's a name and information price. So in this way, uh, it is carrying a data of some products with identification number, name of that product and the price of that product. Uh, so this is an example, simple example. Uh, in next video, we will see what are the different structures of the XML, how to present data and how to, to execute the code with the XML. So you, what we have studied in this lecture, we studied what is an GML, generalized markup language. So markup language means some tag will be given over there and just we have to write down our content and we should know that uh, how exactly our content should be displayed on web browser. And then we have to use uh, the tags which are required for that output. For example, if it, we want italic bold, then in that way we should use the particular tags. So this is generalized markup language and it has been uh, standardized by SGML, standardized markup, uh, standard generalized markup language. It has some problems that we have seen complicated structure. That's why XML has been started. And HTML for the presentation of data, and it is totally predefined tag based data. User defined tags are not allowed in the case of HTML. And who invented it? Tim Bernalli invented uh, this HTML. The tags information you know, latest version HTML5. This is a basic structure. The evolution of this XML, uh, it is a light version of SGML in 1998 is that means started. And uh, you can see you know, some name team, Bray, John, Bosa, then CM, Sperberg, MC Queen. So these uh, team members has been changed some SGML part and uh, light version of SGML that is an XML has been introduced. And we have seen the features uses of HTML with some example. So we will stop here and in next video, we will see in detail how to write XML and how to uh, use carrying a data with the help of the XML. So thank you, we will stop here.